Welcome or welcome back on Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. This is once again a hands-on video, so you will not see me, but instead of me, the superstars of the video. They are on your screen, Gasüte Original from the Specialist Collection, the CQ Panorama Late. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. And in case you're doing this for the first time, you have the chance to win one of the Bose noise cancelling headsets each month. We're giving away one of them. Take your opportunity and win the Bose noise cancelling headsets. This is not a new watch, of course. Uh, maybe some of you just recognized this. One year ago that I presented to you the CQ Panorama Date watches, the divers from Gasute Original, and time is running. It's incredible. I have the impression it was yesterday that I did this. Last year, 2019, to its 50th birthday, Gasute Original was presenting two new watches uh, that had their debut last year, and they are all looking back to a watch, the Glashütte Uhrenbetrieb, the Glashütte Uhrenbetrieb, uh, initially presented in 1969. It was a diver, a watch dedicated or built for uh, going into the water, for diving, whatever you wanted to do with the watch. It was a watch built to be in water. 50 years later, last year, and this is what I showed you in the video I was talking just before, um, Gasute Original came out with two versions, a 39 mm version, limited version and an unlimited version, more or less reflecting the spirit of the watch from 1969. And on top of the collection, they launched this watch you see here in the picture, 43.2 millimeters. Uh, uh, the Panorama, the CQ Panorama date watch that's a diver with a big date indication here at four o'clock and the watches last year were only available in steel with either a black or a blue dial and now this is a line extension to the watches of last year they come in steel with a 18 karat red gold basil and crown or a fully entire red gold case this new steel and red gold version of the CQ Panorama Date is 43.2 millimeters in diameter, 43.2 millimeters. The height of the case is 15.65, 15.65 millimeters. And the famous lug to lug distance, you always want to know. From here to here, the lock to lock distance is 51 millimeters. Yes, the watch, as you see it on your screen, um, has a wonderful galvanic gray dial in a sunray finish that takes up some of the gray and the silver of the stainless steel case. To make the watch, and this is the difference to the steel watch from last year, to make the watch look a bit more, to give it a more a warm glow, or to give it some more warm in, uh, in terms of um, a color, has a 18 karat red gold, rose gold, turning basil with a ceramic inlay, and an 18 karat red gold, rose gold crown. So, this is a diver, of course, so um, you may and you will expect me to turn the crown only counterclockwise. There we go, and I will shut up that you can probably hear the, cl the clicking. This is the clicking. Very solid, let's say, very pre a, a very good sound. It doesn't sound cheap at all. That's very good. It's perfectly click, click click and now back at zero, exactly positioned at zero. The crown must be counterclockwise, of course. You have a crown that is, of course, a screw down crown, of course, gives an additional protection. In the first position, you wind it. It's an automatic watch, but still you can wind the watch in the first position. Second position, you will change the big date indication. And the third position is, of course, to set the time. And then you see, this is uh, the rose gold, red gold, turning basil. That goes around, yes. Makes it 
look very nice. Takes away some of that, uh, I would say, gray uh, gray color of the typical gray gray color when you have a steel watch, a completely steel watch. Makes it look a little bit smoother, softer, if you if you want. Yes, if you turn it around, no surprise, we we have a, a see-through case bottom. The watch is waterproof 300 meters, as it should be. This is also shown here, 30 bars, and this is tested up to the DIN, the German, German DIN 83006. This means the watch has been tested uh, in its rate performance and magnetic resistance, shock resistance of uh, the attachment resistance at air over and under pressure, mass flow rate uh, of air, resistance of water over pressure followed by condensation test a salt water resistance so the watch is in salt water and has to show that it's not getting rusty the rotating basal protection against uh, unintentional uh, read uh, adjusting then uh, the security of functional devices and the temperature cycling everything is tested they're re really taking it for serious the guys at Gasüter Original and believe me if they do it, they do it seriously. So this is the um, legendary Kaliba 36-13 uh, of Glashütte Original. That's the latest generation of movements they are manufacturing. The watch features a silicon hairspring. There you would, uh, we are not seeing it, but there is it. There is the silicon hairspring. It's a four hertz movement, 28800. Uh, semi oscillations per hour of the balance wheel has an automatic rotor as you can see with a uh, gold weight on it and it the movement is perfectly finished up to the standards of Gansute Original and they are really doing an excellent job no doubt you have Glashütte stripe finish you see on the surface the glass Hütte stripe finish. You have beveled edges, so everything is treated. The screws are blued by temperature. And the swan neck spring for regulation of the rate symmetry. There it is. That's the swan neck. Let me show it to you. Here. The swan neck. There it is. You see the shape of the swan necks. Wonderfully executed as they do it at Glashütte Original. The strap you see here is one possibility how to wear the watch. That's a synthetic strap. You can wear it with such a strap or you can wear it with a caoutchouc, with a caoutchouc strap, a rubber strap and I will show you the rubber strap just in a second on the gold watch. Not to forget, the watch features a folding clasp. There you go, folding clasp. You can open it, click, click. You open um, to bring in, you go in here with your, with the strap. However you want to position it, you pull in there. Do you see me doing it? So you just take that little nipple and pull it in and then it's you close it and you can wear it. Very nice, very good. Fine adjustment if necessary can easily be done by just taking this out once again. With the gloves it's not as easy as it looks. I have to turn around and then I will pop. Yes, you see. Because, and it's new, so it's a little bit stiff still. So there you see, you can easily adjust the length. And then you would go again and close it. You go in here, you see clearly, yep. And then you close. That's how it looks like. Everything I've just been telling you about, technology of the watch also applies to the gold version. But there is a difference, of course. This is a full gold version, meaning that the case is made out of rose gold, entirely made out of rose gold. The turning basal is made out of rose gold. The crown, let me take the pen, that's better. The pencil, you see, the 
Base on is rose gold, the crown is rose gold, the entire case is rose gold. When we turn the watch around, we have a see-through back and of course to see the case bottom is also in gold and of course the folding clasp is also completely made out of 18 karat gold. And on this version, as I just said before, you can then also see the alternative uh, to the synthetic strap, that's the rubber strap here, with a fine surface texture, looking good. That's as an alternative. There you go. From the other side, here the glass with the original logo on the back side. Glass with the original. And there you see, that's how the rubber strap looks like. The same watch, but of course, black dial. And um, yes, uh, also important to mention, of course, and this is not a coincidence, the date discs, there are two discs, the 0, 1, 2 and 3, and of course from 0 to 9, and together they make the dates from the 1st to the 31st. And the date discs of the watch, of the Panorama Datum, are of course matching 100% the color of the dial, and everything else would look horrible to the proof. Let me show you again the version in steel and gold. You have this beautifully um, slate gray dial. And then you see here the color of the two discs is matching 100% the color of the dial. Of course, everything else, as I just said, would look awful. Ceramic basal, of course, just as the two-tone version, ceramic basal. All the, all the hands and the numbers are, of course, heavily filled with a super Luminova, wonderfully glowing and uh, looking really good when the watch is charged with light, so you will have a perfect visibility also when it is dark, so you can easily read the time. Yeah, you saw already that this Sapphire class is pretty domed. Um, this gives, of course, a certain distortion when you come and look at the dial under a specific angle. There you go. So if you're looking on the dial under a specific angle, this makes some distortions, but on the other hand side, it gives, brings in a lot of light on this beautiful dial and makes the entire dial look really, really gorgeous. Yeah, from the side, you see, there I can show you, you see this? It's pretty domed. Now you see it exactly from the side and we are slowly turning it back into the camera. Yup, and you see there's a little bit of a distortion here, but this is nothing you have to worry about or nothing that is really disturbing. It just gives it a little bit of a, let's say, vintage look. It gives the watch a different look, a flat, uh, or let's say a flat uh, sapphire, sapphire um, uh, crystal um, would probably not look as good. Nothing to worry about, makes the watch really look very good, very, very fine. Now the CQ Panorama date is in its natural habitat on my wrist. That's where the watch is supposed to be. Now it's on my wrist. But I hope, I hope that when you are watching the video, that you are falling in love, probably with one of those, as I am just doing with that steel and gold version. Absolutely, I'm not the guy for steel and gold normally, but this combination of that warm res rose gold basil with that cool steel and the gray dial really looks nice. Look, the watch is not too thick, nice, um, on my wrist, 17 centimeters, um, as always, my wrist, I have not huge, not a huge wrist, but still, I would say, the watch looks very nice. That's that synthetic strap with the glass with the original logo, and there you see how it looks like. 
Z18 Karat Rose Gold version of the CQ Panorama date on or in its natural habitat on my wrist. There you go. And you see the difference? That's, this is the rubber strip. Kautschuk rubber strip. And um, yes, black in contrast to the warm rose gold case. Looking very good, but I could imagine that even the gray dial um, of the two-tone version would look good um, together with the entire rose gold case. If you're now wondering why the watches are always set to 10 minutes past 10, it's done by purpose, it was me. I wanted to always make them smile and to smile at you. This is why I always been resetting them to 10 minutes past 10. So looks nice when the watch smiles. Um, to finish this little hands-on video, um, as always, I would like to inform you that if you are interested in uh, getting hands-on on one of the CQ Panorama dates worldwide, uh, please, I don't know where you're watching the video and if you want to be sure, if you go to an authorized dealer or to a boutique somewhere around the world, and if you want to be sure to find the watches there, shoot me an email, alexander at watchadvisor.com and I will give you the necessary information if the watches are available, if you can find them and if they have been delivered yet. And also if you are watching the video somewhere around the world and you are interested in buying the watch and you don't know how to do this since you don't know where to find Glashütte Original, shoot me an email and we will figure out with the help of Swatch Group here in Austria how to handle this little issue for you. So no big deal. Everything, everything can be done. Yup, wonderfully looking two new executions of a watch that has been initially presented last year to the 50th anniversary of the Spezimatik, um, the diver that was presented initially in 1969, 1969 by the Gershüter Uhrenbetrieb. And these are the babies from the year 2020, the first line extension in steel and gold and in a rose gold case. Thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, uh, I have to admit this one really, <clears throat> yes, is up, as I can say, my favorite in this video. I really a little bit fell in love. I'm not the guy normally wearing uh, gold on my wrist. I prefer steel watches, platinum watches, titanium watches, white gold, but this version really looking very cool. Thank you very much. Let me know what you think and use the comment section just here underneath and stay tuned on our channel to discover many more videos to come very soon. Bye bye for today and stay safe and sound.